Alrighty, so how are you today? <laughs> I'm fine. Alrighty, so uh, you have a very nice display in here. And this is all beadwork, most of it by Catherine Scanandola Burning, who was a servant in the home of the Higginbothams for 20 years, 20 odd year, 20 years. Mm -hmm. She became very close to the family. She and the family would travel, which meant there was a good relationship between them. And she was so apparently so cherished that when one of when Mrs. Lucy Higginbotham died, she actually left Catherine two hundred dollars, which back in the day was a sizable sum of money. And what year would have that been? Pardon me? Was that before or after the turn of the century? It was before the, just before the turn of the century mm -hmm. when, she, when she passed. So Catherine continued on working and had a good life. But when she died, she left money to one of the Higginbotham children because she'd grown so close to them. Mm -hmm. Which was kind of an idea that kind of hit me is the fact that how close they actually were. You only leave money to the people you're closest to and value the most. Mm -hmm. And so her association with the family was much more than washing windows or washing baby clothes. It was a very close and endearing relationship. Mm -hmm. And it looks like she was an Indian. Yes, she was a Native American. And she married Augustus Ver um, Burning, was also a Native American. He was the son of a Mohawk chief. Mm -hmm. and she was a descendant of the Scanandoa from this area, chief too. Mm -hmm. So the two of them, you know, worked in the community and lived and generated their kindness and their intelligence to all the people mm -hmm. that they knew. Okay, now uh, the, the Higabotham Park is named after the Higabothams that lived here, I assume. Mm hmm definitely was. And uh, this is, th what was her name again that probably you slept in this bedroom? Catherine Scanandoa Burning. Mm -hmm. All right. There's a picture of her in her later years up on the wall. And here is a picture of her in about, is this just before the turn of the century? No, I would say it's after the turn of the century because she died in 1933 and she was 91 at the point of her death. All right. Thank you.